All right, I'm going to do a, a tutorial for the program Darkroom. This is a raw photo editing program in Linux that I've recently really, really started to enjoy. So you open it up and it looks like this. Go ahead and I will import an entire folder. So I'll open the Darkroom tutorial folder. And the great thing about this is so I've got the folder open. If I close Darkroom and I want to come back later, you can see that once I open it, it will go back to uh, have all my photos. So I'm not going to do anything really fancy. I'm just going to kind of show what you can do and, and why I like this program. We'll go ahead and double click on this image. Uh, and I'll kind of just go through and uh, talk about all the different things you can do. Uh, so we'll start with basic. I like to uh, increase the black a little bit more. I give it some more depth. Uh, sometimes I play with the exposure. Uh, yeah, we'll do that a bit. Uh, we'll leave the white balance how it is. Then go into color. Uh, this has some pretty nice options for saturation and vibrance. Uh, I like to take the vibrance up a bit. You can uh, see the difference that that makes. Uh, and saturation's kind of similar. Uh, so we won't play with that too much. Uh, and, and there's really a lot of, of different things that Darkroom allows you to do that I'm not really going to talk about. Uh, I do really like how you can edit things. Like you can see with this, with saturation, it kind of makes it really fun to go through and edit. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, if you don't like the changes, you can just go in and reset it. And uh, so let's see. can uh, basically just play around with things until you get it to where you like it. And I'm not going to do anything fancy, like I said. Um, all right. Uh, tone curve is pretty cool. It uh, kind of shows the levels of, of, of what you can do. Uh, and so that makes it kind of nice to see it like that. All right, and then some more. I really like the equalizer. You can kind of get uh, kind of a soft glow with that uh, and do a few different things. Uh, all right. Okay, and then... Uh, can do some denoise de and uh, different effects. If you want it to be monochrome with a certain color, you can do monochrome pretty easy, and that makes things pretty nice. Uh, and then same thing with the vin vignette. Uh, just a push of a button, and you can kind of do whatever you want with the settings. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and so uh, I'd probably maybe go through and do this a few a few different times until I got something I really liked. But uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, you can see here everything that I've gone through and done. And uh, I can go back to the original and I can go through the steps. So that's really nice to see the differences. And you can take snapshots as well. And I'm going to go ahead and create a style from what I've made. And uh, I've done many of these, but uh, you'll want to go to the advanced edit of style and have everything checked that you want to save in that style. And I will just say portrait and tutorial and go ahead and save that. And so with that, then I can go ahead and if I took a, another picture that I want to do the 
same kind of editing toward I'll just go here and I can go to portrait tutorial and it will make the changes so that's pretty cool and you can see I've already gone through and done a whole bunch of different um, settings uh, so you can go through and see which ones of those you like uh, after you've made a lot and it makes things go by a lot faster so that's a, a pretty nice feature with this um, different black and white settings uh, yeah and so and some things don't work and so you just have to kind of play around with it but once you've gone through and made all the changes uh, switch back to light table mode and I have this set up um, so it will save in the same directory that I have everything and it creates a new subfolder called dark table and then just saves the images so I'll go and uh, press control A select all the images and then just go export I'm exporting to a JPEG with 80 quality and so it says exporting eight images and then uh, I'll go ahead and open up Picasa and show you that it just exports right to where I want it and I like using Picasa as a kind of a my photo manager um, so these are all the original images that I went to the folder and if I go back to dark table uh, might might actually be taking a while okay oh and then you can see here oh no hasn't shown up yet anyway that's where it will show up after they've exported uh, and so that's dark table it's a it's a great program I highly recommend it if you're running Linux and yeah it's it's probably my favorite raw photo editor now for Linux